Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be building this house for a gamer slash e-girl. I'm not sure if that's still a term that people use all the time, but I decided to build a house for a gamer because it's always kind of fun to do that. I feel like you get to just use more color for some reason and you also get to use like more cute items, like especially if you're building a house for a girl only like obviously not all girls are that way <laughs> like we all have our different styles but I think that most girls probably do like kind of little cutesy items and stuff in their space when they're younger and maybe when they're older too I don't know what the case is for everyone but this build was really fun to do I got inspired from Pinterest again for the exterior a little bit. I think it was like a little cafe situation. The At least the very front part of this build is inspired by that and then I kind of went crazy with the rest of it. But you'll see I did end up using a good amount of color. So the color scheme in this build is green and well orange a little bit but mostly green and yellow sorry. Um, which I don't use color in my builds a ton. I think anyone who's been around for a little while knows that I prefer a more neutral palette or just like really dark colors like blacks and dark browns and grays and things like that. Um, I also build a lot of more modern things that I feel like it's a little bit harder to incorporate color into those kinds of like structures and stuff. So yeah, this one, the exterior is not super colorful but it definitely becomes more colorful as you come inside. It's more modern and boxy looking on the outside, which I always think is kind of fun for builds because it just looks cool, especially in the game. It looks cool and yeah, I just had fun with this one and it has a nice outdoor area. There's like a pool, there's a little driveway, there's a little area I made for The Sims to watch movies outside or game. I think you can game on the projector screen. I'm not 100% sure. I've never actually tried that, but I did put a gaming console out there, so I'll see when I like play test it if I decide to leave that there or not, but yeah. Um here's the pool. This is actually built just before we got the curve pool update. So, I do have another build for my other channel that I did use the curve pools in. So you'll see I like just kind of did the thing where you put the trim to make it look a little bit more like rounded I guess. Um, I just wanted an interesting pool shape because this house is kind of interestingly shaped already. And I actually did go back afterwards and extend the, the right side of this house which we're working on now out at least one if not two tiles because once I got inside the living area which is very open was super super cramped and it just looked not great so I decided to extend that out so that I could rearrange everything and have it have a little bit more breathing room I guess. So yeah this build is actually a bit late by I'm gonna say at least four days by the time I upload this probably so I apologize for that it's just that we were away this weekend I actually went to see my family for the day and that was really nice because I've not seen some of my family since probably Easter yeah I want to say it was probably Easter um so yeah that was nice we got to go swimming which is something I've not done in two years which is wild to me because Ever since I was like probably a toddler, I've been swimming almost every day of the summer, like my whole life. And the last two years, I could not because I was having issues with my toenails and having to have like surgical procedures done. And that was like the last two summers of my life. So I just didn't feel comfortable swimming because I was even having like issues with healing and stuff. So it was just not fun. And. I finally got to go and now I need to go buy myself a bathing suit because I decided to save it till the last second and because we live in Canada things are already switching over to like fall wear which is like sweaters and jackets and stuff so all their bathing suits were on clearance or they just didn't have bathing suits at all so I had to wear like a sports bra and shorts to swim and now I need to order something online which is not super ideal but 
it's fine we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go find a beach in the city that we can go to as well because i know i want to go home one more time next like this oh is it no it's not quite august yet sorry but in august i do want to go home again and go swimming again because my family does have like property on the lake which is private which is really nice you'll know if you've only had to spend time at like public beaches your whole life that it's not like the best way to experience the lake um but we always had a blast as kids like because all my cousins would be there so there were like 11 of us almost every day of every summer growing up because our moms would be able to take us during the day and it was so much fun we'd be on like the raft and the paddle boats and we had air mattresses for one summer that we used as like floaties giant floaties and camping and like all this stuff so I definitely miss that a lot because again that was like every summer of my life forever <laughs> like it's just something that I've missed doing so that was really really fun to get to do so you'll see that we've moved on now to the interior which again has that green yellow color scheme it's got a lot of fun furniture and little like cutesy items which I always have fun building with little cutesy items and I don't do it a lot but it always turns out really nice so this is the living area we have the couch and TV we have the dining and the kitchen all in one area and then off to the side there's an office the entryway there's two bathrooms and one bedroom in this build so yeah as we kind of furnish this uh yeah, I also just had an interesting week because I had the mildest toothache of my life <laughs> like which I'm not complaining about but it lasted for a week like it's still ongoing and I finally went to the dentist because I was like I don't want this to turn into something worse because I've experienced something worse a couple years ago just before COVID actually and man that was horrible like I was in so much pain I wanted to pull the tooth out myself because nothing was helping like it took a while for the antibiotics to eventually like take the pain away and I needed to go get a root canal but at the time I was trying to save money and I didn't want to do that so I decided to just extract the tooth instead so yeah I just didn't want to go through all of that again and apparently that's not what's wrong this time it's just that I grind my teeth at night which I'm sure some of you can probably relate to that um and I've done that for years and I'm finally getting a mouth guard to sleep with so that hopefully this dental pain that happens every once in a while just stops happening um so yeah in a week or so I'll have that so hopefully everything's in the clear but yeah that was a little bit stressful this week and I don't I don't recommend getting infected teeth and my tooth is not infected this time but that's what happened in the past and it was horrible I've never experienced pain like that in my life and nor have I since then thank goodness but oh yeah I was I was worried for a second there I didn't want to go through that again because it was horrible the first time but yeah I think we're all good fingers crossed that you know we're all good um <laughs> But yeah, that's kind of been my week. Uh, otherwise, I've been just kind of chilling, watching another Last of Us playthrough by, I think it's Video Games, so I'm obsessed with this game. I don't know if I've talked about this ever, but like in terms of ga other games I play other than The Sims, I play Planet Zoo, I've played a little bit of Animal Crossing New Horizons, uh, obviously like Mario Kart, um... And then, yeah, The Last of Us, which I had never played until last year, so when the show came out, I wanted to play the game because my boyfriend had it, and I played it, I believe, right after the show ended, like, the first season. So I had known about The Last of Us for a long time, since the game originally came out. I watched PewDiePie play it way back in the day, so I did know the game, and I loved the game back then, but I kind of forgot about it <laughs> like obviously when part two came out I started watching uh PewDiePie again play it and just that period of time <laughs> when the pandemic was in full swing and mentally I was not in the best place and for those of you who know you know and I just couldn't continue watching so I gave up on it eventually came back to it when the show ended played it myself loved it and obviously like 
ah, uh, it's such a good game. Both of them are such a good game. I highly recommend if you're in a good mental place to play those games or watch gameplay or watch the show because I love them. They're near and dear to my heart, but I've been rewatching or not rewatching, watching some gameplay of that this week and oh, it's such a heavy game like every time it makes me so upset and it's so hard to go back to the first game after the second one like oh, yeah it's just a beautiful story though like I highly recommend going into both of those games with a very open mind and you'll probably enjoy them just as much as I do but yeah we're coming up to the end of this build already this is the bedroom which has a little painting section and it has a closet like everything you need in the bedroom um this cute little shelf from clutter cat that goes around the corner that i've never been able to use because i can never find the exact spot for it where there's not a door or something in the way so that was fun to get to use finally in this build so yeah if you guys liked this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel for more you can support me by doing all of those things and also by clicking on the patreon link down below where you can also find the tray files and all the cc you need for this build if you prefer to use the gallery it's lindsay builds is my id thank you guys so much for watching see you next time bye